guys, it's me, Wicked Fantasy. So, I'm so sorry, I know I was supposed to post yesterday, I didn't post because you guys, I had to go to the nail shop, I feel like throw up, y'all see me? So, I was so tired after that happened yesterday, I didn't, I didn't film. But um, it's Saturday morning, so I figured, you know what, I could just post something. So I want to show you guys something that I learned. Now, anybody that know, anybody that know, McDonald's ice cream frappe machine is always broke. It never works. It never works. So I'd be tired, even like on DoorDash, I'll order it. You know how many times I'd be, because they'd be like, they're out of fried pays. And then a lot of times it's just you just find out because you didn't get the fried pay. They don't have like a replacement if the machine is broke. So I've been like digging around a little bit and I uh, found a way to make them myself. Well, I'm not going to say it's the exact recipe, but it's close as, as it's going to get for me. So I wanted to show you guys. So if you're at home, and this is ice. I know it's a little glare, but uh, if you're at home and you want to make it yourself, that you can do it. So I'm going to tell you what all I put in it like as I'm doing it, but I just wanted to show you guys. This video is not going to be super long, but I just wanted to show you. And you guys, I got a new cup and I've been thirsty to use it. Yes. I know. Whatever. So let's just get started. <clears throat> this is just a like uh, a little personal blender. I got this on Amazon. You can order it there too. It's not that much. And we're just going to go ahead and... I probably should do it the first way. So let's go ahead and do it. Listen, you guys. Okay. That's enough ice. That's the ice portion of our show. So anyway, that's the ice. I should have got a towel or something. That's the ice. Might want to have a little tissue handy. I had one to put the little stuff on, but I didn't have like, anyway, you get it. So you can use whatever coffee base that you want, but this is um, mocha iced coffee. So I use this, you guys. Uh, you can use, like, I see a lot of people use the Dunkin' Donuts kind. I didn't like that. It, you know, I don't know if you had, well, let me see. Make sure you guys can see. I pour about this much. So, <laughs> I thought he's like, what? Okay, listen, this is not a real cooking show. So I don't have the measurements, like, lined up. But I pour, I don't like as much coffee, you guys. So if you like more coffee, then you will probably fill the blender to about the halfway mark. But I don't like as much coffee. I'm really here for just the ice and other toppings. So, anyways, I put this much in here. So maybe about a, what a fourth or something. I didn't. I don't measure this. That's why I can't tell you the measurements. I don't even know them. So we're just doing a freestyle. Okay. Anyway, so this is milk. I know you like duh. Okay. Anyway, you guys, vitamin D. I guess you can use whatever milk you would like. You know, if you don't really. I know some people use low fat or. I don't know how that would taste though. But you do if you want to. So this is milk. So this part. I will pour it to about the halfway line. That's where I would pour that because I would rather have more milk. Just like if in coffee, you know, some people drink it black, but I like creamer. So I will put extra creamer. So that's that. <clears throat> and you can just get these ingredients at your local grocery store. Um, sorry. I don't really have a method to this. I just kind of do it. But I do have some a Cool Whip. Did you guys watch that episode? Okay. A family guy was was like... <laughs> Anyways, so I'm not going to put that much. I'm not even sure really why I do this. Nobody told me to. I just do it. I just like, I guess, the fluffiness of it. So maybe two tablespoons because that's more than like a teaspoon. So I would say put that on there. And, oh, you know what it was, you guys? Because when I was making it, I love my, my next ingredient. Okay. <laughs> chocolate chips, you guys. I love chocolate chips. So, you guys see them? I just put them in this little cute container for you guys. But uh, I love chocolate chips and I found when I was making the shakes initially that all the chips were going to the bottom and it wasn't getting blended. And I don't know why that was. So I got to move faster, you guys. No. So I don't know why that was, but I didn't like that. So that's why I put the Cool Whip to try to catch some of them. And like I said, this is just chocolate chips. You can put however many you want. Uh, obviously, I like a lot of chocolate. So I put a lot of mine, but you can do what you want. Okay, so chocolate chips. And then chocolate syrup and this is just for more of the chocolate flavor because like I said I kind of wanted to taste like a shake not so much like a, a frappe but again when I did it that's what it ended up tasting like 
So I made it several times. It ain't like this first time I did it, but I'm just saying though. So this is, I'm forgetting to show y'all the ingredients, y'all. Okay, well you already know that was Hershey's chocolate syrup. That's a good brand to use. And then this is uh, Smucker's Caramel. Can y'all see this? It's caramel, but it's really good too. So when I did the, the chocolate syrup, I probably just count to two seconds and pour it like I'm about to do with this. One, two. I don't really have a measurement. That's just what I was doing. Uh, also, you guys, what I did before, because it, it wasn't as sweet. I had wanted a little bit sweetener. I'm, I'm just realizing I forgot it. But I had a little sweetener. Like, you could get the packets, but I have found, like, a little dropper. But last time I screwed it up, you guys, and it was too sweet. So I didn't put it in here at all this time. But you can add a little bit of sugar to it, like you would coffee, if you just want it to be a little bit more sweeter. I know you, like, mix it up already. Okay. So, anyway, that's all, that's all you do. And... Presto Desto. Now, I don't have an amount of time that I do this. Uh, I probably just count 10 seconds and do it. Ding. So, we're going to say that's done. Okay, 12 seconds. All right. That's done. So, literally, got, I've been so thirsty to use this cup. I'm going to show y'all why in one second. Anyway, so you take the lid off. And it's good for this because it has the little dome because I like to put it on top. Now, I'm not going to put the lid on because this stuff is in it. But this is just like a little crazy straw, you guys. I know. Cornball. Whatever. Okay. I'm getting prep out. So, you just take it out. I don't know if you guys can see like the consistency of it you see almost like a shape so can you see me pouring it see I know you like we heard you okay I'm making sure so keep pouring usually like I say it's a little personal size so it usually leaves a little bit but look you guys then Now, let me just say this straw is not supposed to be smack dead in the... It's not even open, you guys. I forgot to stop this. Okay, uh, that straw is not supposed to be smack dead in the middle. It's really supposed to be like... I'm thinking like, am I ruining the appearance? It's supposed to really be like no straw in here, you guys. Okay, use your imagination. Okay, I like this straw. So, here's the ready whip. Again, there would not be a straw here in your cup. It's just going to be put it on how you like it, but we're going to work around the straw today, Okay. You can do as much Cool Whip as you like. I like a lot, but I'm just trying to do not make it look a mess because I forgot about the straw, you guys. So, okay. So, and then on top of mine, I also still add like a little chocolate on it. And then I still add a little caramel on top. Because this is what I, when I ordered at McDonald's, I don't know if you can see this because my hand, okay. Because when I ordered at McDonald's, I get chocolate and I get extra caramel too. So this is how I will order it. And then just for decoration, we're just going to throw a couple more little chocolate chips on there. Literally a couple, guys. <laughs> because it got to go through the straw. Because I had to learn the hard way. I bought another one. And the chocolate chips was too big, like the Toll House one, so I had to get the cheap brand because they're a little bit smaller. But the Toll House, they didn't go through the blender like that that well. They wasn't getting chopped up or something. I don't know, you guys. But, and that's how you make a, a frappe. Now, I'm going to show you guys. I'm trying to show you up close. Ooh, see you guys. Now for the grand finale. You guys. So good. And then I just love the crunchiness of the little chocolate chips. I know you can see me crunching because I'm like chewing them up. Because if you want it, if you don't want um, the little chocolate chip pieces in there, maybe do it 20 seconds. But I like that part. And I like the little chips to ice. Little, I mean, real thin. You can't really taste them. But like how the frappe is. 
So I was doing that face the first time because when I was trying to pull the straw up, all the top was coming up. But you guys, I promise you, this is so good. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. But, mm, you guys, let me tell you one more thing really quick. I'm like, can you get that stupid blender out your face? Oh. You guys, I want to tell you one other thing really quick. Remember when I was telling you about Halloween? You guys, I'm just finding out a lot of people didn't feel the same way. They didn't like it. Did you guys not like the last Halloween, the Halloween ends? I did. Now, I feel like they could have killed him a little bit more dramatically. But other than that, I liked it. But I heard a lot of my friends say they didn't like it. So I guess it was just me, you guys. So I don't know. Again, when I tell you guys about this stuff, this is just my opinion. You may see it. You may like it. You may not. But And then let me tell you about that last show when I was saying I shouldn't mention The Watcher. Again, I shouldn't have mentioned The Watcher. I did like it. Now, it was a great show, like the suspense of it. But the fact that they left it like a... Uh, oh, my God. I'm going to say he flipped. What? That is not what I meant. The uh, cliffhanger at the end, like they never really said what the end result was. I wasn't here for that because I don't like to just be left like... So, y'all not going to tell who it was? I didn't like that part. So, I'm going to just tell y'all that now. You can watch it, but you're going to be mad at the end. And I did watch this other movie because it's time for Wicked Pick of the Day. So, um, I did watch this other movie called Old. Now, I'm going to tell y'all right now, don't judge me. This movie was weird. I didn't know all that was going to be going on. So, I was like, what the? Are we just glossing over this? Like, do nobody else see all this? What? It was crazy. But it was a good movie. So, that's the Wicked Pick of the Day. Definitely check that out. I think you guys will like it. You guys, if you ever, like I said, want a frappe and they close, this is the closest you're going to get to it. Now, you can add whatever toppings you like, but this is just for me. Like, some people might use almond milk or oatmeal. Time to go. Oatmeal. So, they're going to put oat milk, you guys. Okay. Don't bum rush me. Some people might use that if you don't like caramel, then you don't put caramel. If you like butterscotch or something, you put that instead. If you don't like too much chocolate, then don't put the little... I say you need to add a little chocolate syrup to sweeten it a little bit, though. Like I said, I tried that Dunkin' Donuts coffee. I didn't really like it. I, uh, the one that I got, you can get that in mocha or the caramel macchiato. That one is good, too. So, it's different flavors, you guys. You can just mess around with it and see. And, um... That's it. <laughs> well, you guys, I want to drag it all day. So I'm just going to say thank you guys for watching. You guys been liking, commenting. I appreciate you. Um, for those of you that are new, welcome to the channel. It's looking all dirty on here. I don't usually... Listen, I don't usually do um, frappes and stuff, but I'm just switching it up a little bit. Is I know it's some coffee drinkers out there. Welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, you already know, baby. Welcome back. And I just want to say, if you guys like the video, if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like. If there's anything you want to say, comment, ask me. Um, then, oh, I already said the word, comment. <laughs> and you already know my personal favorite. Subscribe to y'all for a loop. <laughs> Bye.